thanks so much for joining me and for those of you who don't know me I'm Libby Dyson I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia I'm going to make a card using something that you've had for a while probably the cookie cutter stamp set cookie cutter Christmas this one and um, the cookie cutter punch now don't forget to join my choose it use it group on Facebook it's free to join and it doesn't cost you anything to stay and it's just about using up your DSP and different ways you can do that so that you can use all your little bits and pieces as well as your big sheets oh, just before I go don't forget the great joining deal you get um, 10 ink pads for free when you join by the 31st of July and I'd love you to be in my team. It's a great offer at the moment. $169 will get you $235 worth of product plus $117 worth of free ink pads in one family. So you get 10, 10 free ink pads from one family and um, yeah, free postage. How good's that? Okay, now I don't have one of these cards made. Anyway, so this is the cookie cutter Christmas bundle. Okay, so this is the cookie cutter Christmas and this is the cookie cutter punch. And I'm pretty sure most people have got these two items. So I just thought I'd come in and do a card. And I'm actually going to use the Garden Impressions. Um, it doesn't sound likely, does it? But the Garden Impressions DSP to make this Christmas card. All right, so I've got a piece of DSP and I'm going to cut it to 10 centimetres. Hi, Leslie, how are you? And then I'm going to bring in my piece of card, which is 14.9 by 21 folded at 10 and a half and my DSP is 14.4 by 10 centimeters so that will fit nicely on there and we might go ahead and add that now the other side's pretty isn't it love this DSP and don't think you just got to use it for florals use the other sides too and today we're using it for a Christmas card so just trying to show you how to get a bit more mileage out of what you've got and spare card here and we might do so I'm just going to put him down there get a block and my stamp and pierce mat now to hello Pam how are you all right um, I've talked to you before about your um, photopolymer stamps needing some underneath them. So we use the stamp and pierce mat. And then if you've got um, the plastic still on it, that helps because then you can just wipe it clean if you get um, ink on it. So just keep the plastic bag that it comes in. Here we go, there's centre. And we need a little block. Yes, there it is, pom pom. We'll do that separately. Now, if you haven't got stamp and write markers, let's put my thumb in the memento. Okay, fun unless you get in here, are you? All right, so pick that one up. And I'm just going to that there. punch that out separately. Now I'm going. Am going to colour before I um, punch out. Now, if you haven't got the stamp and write markers, which is what I started to say, I think my memory's going. Um, here's your ink pad. Now the new ones are a bit different to this. I'll show you this shaded spruce in a minute. All right, so partially open 
your ink pad, squeeze it together and you get ink in there. Now with the new ones, that's a little harder. So I haven't f had too much success squeezing the lid. I've put re-inker in there. So what you need to do is, just got rid of my little block, didn't I? Come in with your block and just ink up your block and then that way you can get some ink. Um, I'll show you with the small block. All right. And my other tip, when you're using stamps and you don't, you don't want to put them away just yet, put them on the front of your case so you know where they are. That saves them getting lost on, let's see, underneath your trimmer, um, underneath a pile of something else. Ink up your block like that. Come in with your aqua painter or your blender pen. So I'll just show you with the blender pen. Pick up a little bit off there and you can just colour like that. Or if you're with your aqua painter, pick up a little bit with your aqua painter and colour away. All right, so that's just a tip of how to use those new um, stamp pads if you can't get the ink into the lid. But today I'm just going to colour with the Stampin' Right marker. So I'm just going to quickly colour Santa in. Yeah, I failed colouring it in kindergarten. 40 years of teaching didn't help. Still can't colour in for nuts. Um, Stampin' Blends are great. I should have used one of those on this. All right, I'll go back and fill those other bits in in a minute. Just trying to do this quickly. Did you see the photo of my dog in my graphic today for joining? I um, biggest took out my German Shepherd. Anyway, if you've got $169 and you need more than $169 worth of product, your shopping list is more than $169, join my team. Do it before the 31st when the ink pad deal runs out. So if you need ink pads, it's a great deal. You're saving yourself $117 in ink. Alright, almost. Okay, so there's our Santa Claus. Just a few bits. Always helpful to get all the white bits. Alright, then come in with your cookie punch. And now... Here's another one of my tips. What I do is I my punch and line it up and sort of half hold the punch down so that I can wriggle the paper if I need to before I punch down so I know that I've got it right. Okay, so there's Santa and punch out his pom-pom. Now I'm going to have to find that piece. <laughs> Oh dear, it's always the way. All right, which piece are you? Are you that piece? Yes, you are. Okay, so that pom-pom can go to the side or it can go on the top. I might put it on the side, I think. So what I'm going to do is just put a little dot of glue there and it hides that bit that I went over the line on. So... There's Santa's pom-pom. All right, I'm going to move. No, I'm not. We need a sentiment. Um, put on a happy face. Warm heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. That sounds nice. So we'll get that one out. All right, try this side. Ink it up. Don't forget to like and share this video for me, please, and give it a thumbs up. Here we go. Still got ink all over me. And I'm just going to bring my trimmer back in and trim that up a bit to there. That's about right. Trim that bit off. And there we go. Now that's about 1.6 centimetres wide for those who need to know. And I'm just going to trim it off a bit. So to maybe 
eight centimeters long and get my snips. And then I'm just I'm going to trim it off a bit more, I think. There we go. That'll work, won't it? All right. Come on, some dimensionals. Get a new sheet out. There they are. All right, so I'm going to put some large dimensionals on the back of Santa and some on the back of this. One in the centre so it doesn't sink. Now I'm going to put this bit down first. Yep, this is Libby. I'm Libby Dyson. I'm an independent stamina up demonstrator in Australia. All right, now I might just put a couple of these mini ones on his lips and hands. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate your time. We're doing Christmas with non-traditional Christmas paper. This is from the um, Garden Impressions 6x6 pack of designer series paper. Okay, I think I'm just going to put Santa there. All right, I think it needs a bit of a bow. So I'm going to use some of the silver um, baker's twine. So just tie a bow, neaten that up. Come in with some glue dots, paper piercer. Now, I don't actually use my paper piercing tool for paper piercing. I use it for all sorts of other things. All right, so on your roll of glue dots, just go round and round and round and make a little sort of blob if you like of glue dot and then put it where you want it so I think I want it over here and then add your bow to it okay so that's the front of our card done let's fiddle around with your bow until it's taken up all of the glue dot now for the inside of the card and the envelope we might do Santa again but we'll do him in red this time so i'll come in with my block and some real red it's good that there are two sides to every bit of card because when you don't clean your stamp properly all right move that over there so move that there and we're going to make sure we've got the flap out so that you're stamping the right way around and we've got a real red here's another reason to have the plastic on your stamp and piece mat because I'm going to come in and just do part of centre on the back of the envelope and then I just need a wet wipe to clean over my stamp and piece mat. So that's the envelope done and now I need the card insert. All right and the we need its little pom-pom don't we so we'll do that in black i'll just load that stamp up to photopolymer you can line it up just beautifully all right same on here put it over this side this time in a different place on here there we go so there's our envelope and card insert i'm just going to put lids on ink because i have this horrible habit of putting my big fat fingers and hands everywhere coming with our card again and put our insert in hello linda tweedy how are you so there's our card using non-traditional christmas paper the inside and the env envelope with the cheeky santa on the back and we've used Cookie Cutter Christmas and the Cookie Cutter Punch along with the Garden Impressions Designer Series Paper, uh, Real Red, Memento Tuxedo Black, Silver Baker's Twine, Whisper White Card. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Now, don't forget, it's the last two days of the DSP sale. So buy three packs, get the fourth one free. Yep, shop with me. Join my team. All right. 
Thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Bye for now. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find.